Hi, this is Jeremy with Digi Tech Support, and this video will demonstrate how to connect a Windows-based computer to an Anywhere USB Plus device using the Anywhere USB Manager software utility. This video uses the Anywhere USB 8 Plus model as an example, and also applies to the Anywhere USB 2 Plus and Anywhere USB 24 Plus models. We will assume the following. The Anywhere USB Plus has factory default settings. The Anywhere USB Plus is running firmware version 20.2.162.90 or later. The Anywhere USB Plus is connected to the same Ethernet switch as the computer, and there is a DHCP server on the network. The Anywhere USB Manager software has been downloaded from the Digi International support site and has already been installed. The Anywhere USB Manager used in this video is version 3.1.14.1. When the term device is used, we are referring to the Anywhere USB Plus device. When the Anywhere USB Manager is first installed, it prompts you to enter a unique client ID. Each computer that has the Anywhere USB Manager installed on it must have a unique client ID. A client ID is essentially a friendly name of the computer. In this example, we will use Jeremy PC for the client ID. Click the plus sign to expand Anywhere USB Plus hubs and then select the Anywhere USB Plus. Note the red X icon and the state at the top right, which says unregistered client ID. This is normal and security related. The Anywhere USB Plus needs to be made aware of a computer's client ID before it will allow the computer to connect to it. We call this being associated. Open the Anywhere USB Plus web UI. Note that at the time of this video recording, the Anywhere USB Plus uses a self-signed certificate, so you may need to bypass any security warnings by adding the device's certificate to your browser. Log in to the Anywhere USB Plus web UI. The default username is admin and the default password is on the device's physical label. The default password must be changed at this time. This may be done via system device configuration. After setting a new password, click Apply. Next, go to System Anywhere USB Configuration. Click Add Client. Rename New Client to the unique client ID of the computer, in this case, Jeremy PC, and then click Apply. In order for a computer to access any of the device's USB ports, its client ID must first be given access to a group. A group is a number that represents one or more of the device's USB ports. By default, Group 1 is associated with all of the device's USB ports. This means any computer that is connected to Group 1 can access all eight, in this case, of the device's USB ports and attached USB devices. In this example, we will give the client ID Jeremy PC access to Group 1. To do this, select the client ID that we just added, click Edit, Check Group 1, and then click Apply. The Anywhere USB Manager is now what we call associated with the Anywhere USB Plus, evident by the new green lock icon in the Anywhere USB Manager. Associated means the computer can connect to any group that it has been given access to. Since the computer, based on its client ID configuration, only has access to Group 1, the Anywhere USB Manager only shows Group 1. To connect to Group 1, right-click the group and select Connect to Group. 
the group should now say in use by you to the right of it. In this example, a single USB flash drive is plugged into one of the device's USB ports. If more USB devices were plugged in, they would also be shown within group one. What we have done is essentially attach certain USB ports of the Anywhere USB Plus and USB devices that are plugged into them to a single computer. In this example, we attached all of the USB ports because group one was used and group one was associated with all of the device's USB ports. Windows should recognize any USB devices associated with the group that the computer connected to as if they were directly plugged into the computer. This process can essentially be repeated on other computers if needed. Remember that each computer must have a unique client ID. Thanks for watching and please let us know if you have any questions or feedback by emailing tech.support at digi.com.